What's up guys? Welcome back in to Vivid Lawn and Landscape. I'm Andrew and we got the uh, the Gravely here. We uh, we put together the Sulky today. Uh, I got this thing mounted up. It's actually really, really good. Uh, went on there perfectly. I ended up not using the brackets, uh, the two brackets that uh, mounted on either side. What I ended up doing was looking at the directions and it talked about um, taking some measurements and making sure that the mounting uh, brackets or the mounting holes were at 12 inches uh, above the ground, uh, which the existing holes uh, on the Gravely were, but they were in the center, if you remember from seeing before. What I did was I came out uh, on either side, centered this thing up, made sure it was dead level, and then drilled some holes, drilled some new holes at 12 inches above center, uh, or, or above the ground, rather. I drilled two holes in each side, I kind of took my measurements, took my time, made sure everything was level. Uh, you'll see in the video um, of the installation that uh, you know I kept kept checking that level, kept checking it, making sure that I was you know marking it out exactly where it needed to be, so that it was going to be level when I ended up bolting it on in the end. And I gotta say, guys, it worked out awesome. This thing is is really really nice. Um, I ended up taking it out back. I got a little bit of footage of me kind of running it back and forth. It's a little a little squirrely, a little different to kind of to get used to, but I will say uh, no issues with pulling me around. Pulled me up a couple different inclines, uh, some wet areas. Uh, the belt uh, or the tire did slip once, but I think that was a result of me uh, in the controls. This was also the first time that I really actually got to run the mower for a little bit and uh, tried to get used to that. Um, I will say that's gonna take a little bit of time too, so I'm gonna run that in the back here for a little while, uh, another hour maybe tomorrow, and, uh, and see how it goes. But um, I will say, guys, this Bradley Mowers uh, Sulky, two-wheel Sulky, is awesome. It, uh, it does a really good job. I'll take you through uh, the installation of the Bradley Mowers Sulky, and then I'll flip around and show you some of the features of this thing uh, after we run through the installation quick. So, hope you enjoy. Check this out. Uh, it's got these pins 
on either side uh, right here. And so this is the pin on either side. If you were to pull these two pins, you could take this right off of the actual uh, mower itself. So those two pins right there are what um, keeps the, the mower or the uh, sulky on the mower. Uh, and then it actually has uh, a pivot point here so it can turn here and it can rotate uh, at that point as well. Um, up here is the lift and latch feature. So right here uh, is another pin that engages on this clip here when you lift it up and kind of get it out of your way. Uh, one thing I was worried about, I think you guys might remember from before, uh, is this gear shift here. So I was worried that when I lifted and locked this up in place that I wasn't going to be able to shift my gear still, that it was going to conflict. And um, they must have they figured out these angles just right uh, on belt drive, you know, transmission models uh, to know that it's not going to conflict because this thing lifts up and actually locks into place. I'll do that for you now. See if I can do that one-handed. Spin the wheel, latch it in place, and uh, it actually locks into place. No problem. So look at this, guys. Look at that clearance. Now if I come in here and I want to go and shift it, I can shift it right past. Look at that right past it, it hits it, but you've got to lift this up to shift it through anyways, and it actually just makes it. So I can still run uh, this in the upright position. You can see there now, guys, it's in the upright position. It's locked out of the way, which is really nice. If I come back here, back on the mower, and I step up, I've got plenty of room to kind of run this. You can see my feet are there. I've got plenty of room to run this in the upright position. And then whenever I want, I can hit the lock, I can pull the latch and unlatch it and get it down. And there you go. It's right back out of the way, or right back down rather, so that you can ride it. And I will say guys, I'm about 170 pounds, about 175 pounds probably right now. And this thing had no issues pulling me around. Um, super, super, uh, you know, heavy duty quality. Like I said before, I kind of showed you guys some of the welds on there. Um, this thing is, is really nice. It's really heavy duty. Um, I'd have no issues recommending this to anyone. Um, I haven't, uh, you know, greased up the wheel ports or anything yet, but it did say everything came greased from the factory. Uh, there was plenty of grease on all the components when I was putting it together. Uh, and yeah, I mean, I, I, I have no complaints, guys. I think this is a great, great sulky. And, uh, you know, if you can still snag it on walmart.com, you can get it for about $180 shipped to your door, um, which is quite a, quite a big discount. I actually looked up some of the reviews uh, and some of the information on the actual Bradley Mowers website, and it retails at uh, $329. So, this is definitely a great little unit, guys, and I'd recommend it to anybody that's looking for a two-wheel sulky to add on to either a belt drive or a hydro setup. All right, guys, that's it. Thanks for stopping in, checking out the video. I appreciate it. If you like these videos, uh, like and subscribe, please. Uh, you know, drop a comment below. We'll try and get some more content up. I think I'm gonna try and sit down here because the soil temps are getting just right in my area. It's gonna be time to throw down some fertilizer here very soon. So we'll probably jump up to the workbench and do a little planting session. And I'll kind of walk you through uh, some of the information that I got from last year with my soil test um, and kind of what we're gonna do this year and this spring specifically uh, with regards to our, our first uh, kind of application here that's going to be coming up, I'd say probably in another week or so. So uh, also wanted to kind of throw out there, I went and looked at uh, a cleanup today, talked to the guy, and uh, he's, he's good to go. We're going to move forward with that. So we've got, we've got a cleanup. We've got our first cleanup scheduled, and uh, he's going to get set up on a bi-weekly mow. Uh, so we're looking forward to that. We're, we're uh, taking, taking calls from other people right now and, and looking at uh, going out and checking out some other properties here soon. So uh, things are looking up that way, and uh, it's, it's uh, exciting. We're going to get the season going here pretty soon. So 
stop back in and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Have a good one.